today I talk about uh, from solstice to equinox and or from equinox to solstice. And here using AI and we do some voice typing and then easy way to asking. So combination tool. From solstice to equinox. From solstice to equinox, how the earth is changed. Update and then the chat GPT and the GPT report about my question. So this uh, so this is true, and then summer solstice, winter solstice. It's extremely uh, different in by the evolution of the Earth, our planet. Now in Northern Hemisphere, near the summer solstice already, and then, uh, okay, uh, four days ago, and then summer solstice. And Southern Hemisphere is uh, winter solstice. And so it's changing about that. And then one question about, about equinox. In equinox, uh, how, about daytime, uh, the length of daytime in the planet, how can we measure in equinox? And then why in equinox daytime is uh, the same um, day and night on the planet everywhere? Asking ChatGPT. During units. <laughs> um, during the equinoxes. The Earth axial tilt in its orbit around the sun quite condition where the sun is positioned directly above the equator. This result in nearly equal length of day and night across the globe by measuring sunrise and sunset times and the length of daytime can be accurately determined despite slight deviation caused by atmospheric reflection and of the bar elevation. The equinox are marked by a balance of daylight and darkness, symbolizing the transition between the extreme of summer and winter. In equinox, why the spring and autumn exist? I got uh, three question, three question, yeah, about the uh, sorties, and then view about solstice and equinox. Uh, the concept of uh, solstice equinox uh, is uh, very important. Spring and autumn is due to the actual tilt of the Earth and its orbit around the Sun. You cannot mark the transition point where the Sun is directly over the grid. Being near equal lengths of day and night globally, the transition is changed in an angle and duration of sunlight. For example, the variation near to distinct the season of spring and autumn. Uh, see the Google us here. 
and then um, we see a little bit um, now uh, the sun directly directly um, maybe the high one this line 23 and now and go a little bit late and then 23 so knowing about 23 one more question From solstice to equinox, uh, how many days? And also, and then each latitude divided by from solstice to equinox, divided by the days, and then what latitude degree can be changed every day? When the degree measured by distance, how many kilometers are there? Every day, each latitude degree, how many kilometers? Each latitude is different uh, changes about daytime uh, every day. So how can we understand about uh, mathematical formula to get the uh, change of daytime in each latitude? Is there a formula for to measure the change of daytime every day on each latitude? While well, the formula will provide a mathematical framework for understanding the change in daylight hour at different values, practical application of new computational tools or software, a factor in more precise astronomy data understanding these principles have explained the varying length of days and throughout the year and their impact on seasonal pattern of, across different regions of the world. Solar noon, seasonal variation, and then let's see. Understanding the change in daylight duration at different latitudes throughout the year involves some fundamental principles of geometry and astronomy. Here's how we can approach it to key concepts, solar declination. This is the angle of, between the rays of the sun and the planet of the Earth's equator. It changes throughout the year due to Earth's axial tilt. Latitude, the position north or south of the equator affects how the sun's 
rays strike the Earth's space and thus influence daylight hours. Daylight calculation. Daylight hours change based on the sun's output of the horizon, which varies with the most latitude and the time of year. Formula for daylight change. The change in daylight hours from one day to the next depends on the movement of the sun's position relative to a specific latitude. Here's a simplified way to express this mathematically. Um, <clears throat> and then the major about solar declination, the latitude tangent, and arc cosine, and I don't know why the two times and 15, why? Well, the t, uh, delta t is the change in the daylight hours from day or one day to the next day. Um, arc cosine is the arc cosine function, inverse cosine. Tangent is tangent function. Latitude is the geographic latitude of the location. Solar declination is the angular distance of the sun uh, north or south of the celestial equator. Understanding the formula, um, the formula drives from geometry of the Earth's sun system the world change in daylight hours uh, t is uh, proportional to the change in sun's declination relative to latitude of the and so so so. And then now, uh, when we understand about the Earth. And then we should know about change day by day. And then now the Northern Hemisphere, summer, solstice equinox. And then, then we have a measure about how to change the daytime and then uh, the result of daytime. Oh, and one more question. The result of this formula and then each northern hemisphere, there are many cities, uh, major cities uh, in northern hemisphere. Can you uh, calculate uh, this uh, formula to say uh, the daytime uh, change each day, and then how how much of the minute, how much of the minute uh, daytime changing? Each the city, main city. Can you show the on the table for the each time the change of in the major city in northern hemisphere? If AI gives the table, that is very interesting things about this. Wow, it goes up. Only um, Tokyo. Tokyo, five, two minutes, and now Beijing. Daily change in daylight minutes. That's a fight. Can you show uh, the table of uh, with uh, 20 cities uh, each latitude, about 10 latitude dif difference? And also the data from the daytime is uh, need to be accurate, not long. And so should we get you the daytime change uh, from the equator to the Arctic area, the main city is uh, uh, the result is uh, uh, reasonably, and then equator area is the shortest and the Arctic area longest. So you check out latitude, the and the exact minute about the daytime change in Northern Hemisphere, can you show the table 20 cities uh, in each latitude area from equator to Arctic? Certainly. 
Oh. Oh. When? Not when. And also the data is not good. Need to do more research about the solstice to you know, and understanding about the uh, understand about the uh, daytime. How to calculate with the formula of daytime change for Seoul in Korea? Can you show and then how to can measure Seoul in Seoul, Seoul in Korea and then um, the capital city of Korea? How to calculate? Uh, the daytime change with the formula of daytime change each latitude. So show me the calculation in detail. How about the solar declination is the maximized in the capital of the Korea? When the maximization of the solar declination in the capital of South Korea, can you measure the, with the, the formula of daytime change? And can you show? How about uh, how 
how about the uh, declination of solar angle in 10 degree, 10 degree, and then can you calculate with the formula of daytime change? And also when it's 10 degree, uh, what date is it? Understand about the uh, length of daytime and four hours every day, every day, each day. And, uh, can you show uh, with the graph the daytime change in the capital of South Korea from summer solstice to winter, uh, some, from summer solstice to autumn equinox. Show me the data with the graph. Show me the data with using the graph. Show the best. Using graphs from summer sources to autumn equinox, the everyday, maybe the using. 92 days and from summer sources to autumn equinox. Can you show the using graph? Show me the code with the graph.
anyway, I can uh, can can do with this the graph uh, anyway. Um, graphical representation. Let's plot these data points. So, I know that that is very understandable of this formula about uh, solo declination and then a calculation about the daytime and I understand about that. Can you show me the how to measure calculate uh, daytime change just one day by the next day minus uh, today and then um can you calculate about with this formula with uh, the change the degree every day so one day daytime change in the capital of south korea with uh, the formula of daytime change can you show just one day uh, how much minutes is showing the how to calculate it, maybe. And then, uh, for example, uh, in the summer solstice to the next day, in the capital of South Korea, show me how to measure <clears throat> with the formula. Only. In this example, the change in daylight from summer source to next day in Seoul, South Korea, is a approximately four minute This calculation gives you a straightforward way to understand how daylight change day by day, a specific location for more precise detailed calculations throughout the year. Astronomical data and more complex formula can be employed, but for a quick estimation, this method is sufficient. June twenty second. No, 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 no. Is the daytime the longest in summer solstice? Is it the daytime longest in summer solstice? Why next day is longer than summer solstice in daytime? Very funny.
how about uh, after 10 days uh, from summer solstice uh, in the capital of South Korea? Can you measure the daytime change? Show me the calculation with the formula of daytime after 10 days from summer solstice. Is it uh, one day 0 0.28 degree? 0 0.28 degree for one day uh, solar declination. After 10 days, uh, I think 2.8 degree. And then uh, you say 0 0.5 degree, what, which is correct. Good. Then uh, how many minutes uh, change from summer solstice to after 10 days? Can you tell the answer? So how many minutes?
with the end time. Thank you. Based on this estimate, the change in the light duration from the summer solstice to 10 days after in Seoul and South Korea could be approximately a decrease of 12 minutes. Please note, these values are approximate and actual value may be based on specific astronomical data at most very condition for precise calculation, consulting astronomical data and source uh, using specialized tools to really provide more accurate results. I'll leave about uh, the daytime change about uh, from some sources to equinox to understand about changing the source to connect with the formula of this and then the calculation is very unique. We have a formula and then understand about this uh, the phenomenon. And then using this uh, and also mix the other data from some event or something, and then the daytime length and then twilight length, and then all the things about the condition of nature and even the historic and then every day and every year and then the year, year by year. Decade by the case, century by century, and then to figure out more scientifically by using this data to background all the things. Impressive. To uh, using a AI is about uh, using many um, libraries, and then uh, very good. <laughs> 